Here we are in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. It's the day after Tropical Storm Irene goes through. It's the... Today's the 29th? Today's the 29th, right? It's the 29th of August. A parking lot that is usually busy is now a ghost town. Connecticut River is right behind this J.C. Penney here. And as you can see, it came up. Tons of mud, everything's closed. This is over in the New Hampshire side, West Lebanon, right across the bridge. You can see bulldozers and everything cleaning up the mud. But uh, this is usually a busy parking lot, right, TT? It's now a ghost town. Everything's shut down. Historical flooding. We'll never see this again. And you can see coals. All the doors are open. You can see the coals took some water. Unfortunately, this camera does not zoom in. It's a small camera, but you can see all the firefighters around, alarms going off, who knows what the water did, water damage, nothing could get worse than this mud, just like at my house, there's feet of mud, feet of mud in this parking lot, and looks like this stuff's not going to be open for a while, the economy's going to take a huge hit, our favorite store, TT, is closed, GameStop, yeah, Here's GameStop. Looks like GameStop probably took a hammering because it's on the river side, the back door. The whole back side of this place looks like they had about five feet of water. Olympia Sports. Here comes that bulldozer. We're going to go. Just wanted to get some footage. Just like I said, this is West Lebanon, New Hampshire, the following day after the Tropical Storm Irene. And it is literally a disaster area. What'd you say? I hate Mother Nature. You hate Mother Nature? Yeah, well, this is what she does sometimes. Okay, we're gonna go. Bye.